Hello YouTube and thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to do a quick video on the different ways you can configure a hybrid mini and micro from Chameleon Antenna. Okay, this first way I have it set up is a horizontal NVIS or NVIS near vertical incident skywave. This configuration is designed to provide good propagation on lower frequencies. It's about 10 to 12 feet up in a tree and ideally you want to have about 60 feet between your two supports. As you notice, I do not have a coax cable hooked up to it because I'm not actually hooking this up to a radio. In the future, I will have it hooked up for each one of these different styles. In this configuration, I have it set up as a sloping wire, which is a broadband short to medium range HF antenna. The main antenna low to the ground with counterpoise. Then you slope up the other end of the antenna. You want that about 25 to 40 feet up. In this configuration we have it set up as an inverted L which also is a broadband short to medium range HF antenna. You want to try and keep your horizontal leg at about 25 feet. It's recommended that a counterpoise be used whenever possible. If not, you want to, your coax cable must be about 25 to 100 feet in length. This configuration is the high efficiency portable vertical. The only thing I don't have on it is the Cha cap hat. In this configuration, it's a short to long range HF antenna broadband. It is extremely portable and it is omnidirectional. This is probably the most popular configuration out there. Very easy to set up, very quick, quick to tear down as well. And for those of us in restrictive HOAs, this one works great. Here we have the Manpack Vertical. This is a broadband short range HF VHF low antenna. If you're doing this, an antenna tuner or coupler is required for most of the frequencies. I do have a counterpoise hooked up to it. And with a lot of the newer quote unquote tactical bags out there like this 5.11 and the Maxpeditions, they have so many of these different uh, straps and loops that it's really easy to mount either the hybrid mini or micro onto it. Okay, here we have the portable vertical and I'm using the uh, Cha jaw mount along with the counterpoise. This is a portable vertical configuration. It's broadband, short to medium range. You can use it with or without the extension. I'm using it with the extension in this video, which gives you 17 feet. An antenna tuner will be uh, more than likely required for all frequencies along or with a coupler. If you're camping or something and you have the right hardware, you can also mount this to the back of your car. Then your car becomes your counterpoise. Remember, if you're using the car, stationary only. Don't go driving around with a 17-foot antenna on the back. It's not going to end well for the antenna. And if you've got some good room, like say, minimum of 35 feet, pick up another whip and extension along with the tripod, and you've got yourself a dipole. Now this portable dipole is a broadband, short to medium range. And if you do have the jaw mount along with this tripod, you've, as the manual says, and I in a full agreeance have the ultimate in versatility and portability. Now what I've shown here is just a few examples of what can be done with the chameleon hybrid and micro antennas. 
Everything I showed here can be found in the own, owner's manual, which can be found online at chameleonantenna.com. I greatly appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you've not done so already, please subscribe. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the section below. Thanks again.